Hey there. So it's hard to believe that I have had this camera, the Leica MP, not me, the camera. It's hard to believe that I've had this camera in my bag for a year. I thought it felt like a good milestone to talk about how I've used this camera. So I hope you'll indulge me and let me chat about how my year has been with the Leica MP. came from knowing the M240, that was my first M body. Then I had the M11, which is my current M body. I've grown up in a way professionally using the Leica M system. So when I decided to go with the MP, it's really no surprise that this felt very familiar to me. This camera, it's obviously the same size and shape. I can uh, change the lenses, which is kind of the whole greatest perk of this camera. It's hard to believe that I've had this camera for a year because it feels like I've had it for five years. It's just felt so homey and familiar, so comfortable to me, and it's been part of the family almost since the beginning. Work from my MP is sprinkled out throughout my wedding days, and I've loved just having it as a companion camera to what I'm already shooting with. I've also used the Leica MP so much during personal work and travel, personal projects and little art print projects that I've been working on. I just did not expect to use the MP in personal work as much as I did. It was, it just became like the camera that I wanted to reach for. Some people, uh, especially when I've been shooting on the streets, some people know exactly what it is and they'll say like, oh, cool Leica, and um, I feel like, I feel really cool when people recognize it, but I also uh, am definitely that person that if I see a Leica, I'll go by and like nod or say cool Leica. I'm in that club, so if you've seen me or I've seen you, I've probably said hi. When it is just carry around, I usually put the Sumalux lens on it. The TT Artisans 21mm lens. My main go-to lens this year was the 75mm Voigtlander 1.5. I love this lens. Wonderful lens to pair with the MP. I just found it to be really kind of there for me. I've tried out a number of different film stocks over the year, especially to learn and familiarize myself with film stock in general, especially when it pertains to wedding environments, low light settings versus direct sun. If I have different types of venues, maybe architectural heavy, maybe vineyards, you know, a little bit different. If you're in the forest, it's a little bit different. Because of that, I've just tried out so many different film stocks with this camera. I am not going to tell you that there's a specific film stock that works with this camera better than others. That would be incredibly foolish. That is an artist decision. For me, personally, I like using Portra 800, especially for wedding work. I've also enjoyed a lot of the Cinestill varieties. The 800's great. The 400 was fun, a little weird, and Cinestill 50D is, is also great. I would say that the images are what I expected them to be. They're sharp and crisp from my focusing using the rangefinder, but also sometimes they're a little soft when my focus is off or when the motion is happening really fast, and those work for the most part. I would say the MP is probably a little less lenient than on the digital M11 or the or my experience using the M240, but overall I I love the images on this camera. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I have never used the light meter in this camera because I've never put a battery in it. So um, I cannot speak to how the light meter works and that is a little embarrassing. But you know what's more embarrassing is I went to the film store asked one of the kids to get the right battery for this camera. I said I had the Leica MP. He gave, he gave me the wrong battery, so I kind of blame him. I just took that as a sign that I 
didn't need a working light meter. So I just rely a lot on um, experience of doing this a long time and especially using these lenses, knowing sort of where I can push them. But on wedding days, I have my stuff together. I can't say that I've had any issues with it. Ding. Again, because I come from knowing the rangefinder focusing system, because I come from handling Leica M bodies, this all felt like it was supposed to be. There's nothing that I've had a real challenge about focusing pictures here. It's um, the same system that I've, I've known, so I would say um, focusing is about the same. With me and my gear and how I run it around, I feel like this camera's held up very well. Only There's only a couple little marks on and around the top of it. Granted, it's not getting as much uh, use as my other camera bodies, but I feel like it's, it's held up very well. In my personal experience, just a couple little downsides to using this camera. I had come from really using the Canon AE-1, and I don't have that camera with me now, but it, on the back of it, it has that little place where you can put um, your film stock card. And I will say that I, I really miss that. I would love to be able to remember what film I have in because I usually am thinking about a lot of things and I sometimes cannot remember what film stock I have in the camera. On a wedding day, it's, ob it's more obvious because I have multiple rolls of film. But if I you know, take breaks and then come back to it, I tend to forget what film I have in the camera. Probably what's been the biggest challenge for me in using the Leica MP is loading film. I feel like I do have it down a little bit, and unfortunately this is half a roll, so I'm not going to be able to open this up in this video, but I've really had a tough time learning how to load film into this camera. Uh, especially compared to the AE-1 program or um, the new uh, Leica Mini Lux zoom camera that I got. The old point-and-shoot film cameras, you load in the film, it like automatically rolls it for you. This has been a bit of a learning curve. I took a lot of time to dedicate to learning how to load film before I actually took this to a wedding. So I knew what I was doing before then, but I still can't pretend that it was easy because it was freaking hard. <laughs> so sometimes this thing in the back is a little hard to, to maneuver. No, no, I don't have any regrets. I think in my research, a very brief research, I just knew that I wanted an M system that was film and it was really between this and the M6. I think ignorance is bliss, and uh, this was a great purchase for me, and this has been a wonderful addition. I think above all, it's just a really great camera to create with. I feel so lucky that it's in my bag, and I feel so excited when I get to use it, whether it's for my couples or for personal work. I am jazzed about this camera. It's. Uh, it's been really, really great. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching and supporting this channel. I love this space so much and I appreciate the conversations and some of the knowledge that I've learned and I just get really, I'm just really interested in how other people use the gear and appreciate the gear and you guys are really nice compared to other channels so, and networks, so thanks for being nice. All right, that's all. Bye.